everybody welcome back to the channel my name is Zachary I hope you guys are having a wonderful day we are here with another free world this one is the human eye so I'm assuming we will be taking a close-up look no pun intended of the human eye uh, so let's jump right into this world uh, if you do not know this is one of 13 free worlds that Minecraft ha did release uh, not that long ago, I uh, don't know when this video will go up, but uh, probably within the week uh, they released a ton of new content, free, and there are some that you have to pay with coins. But uh, we're going to be taking a look at some of these uh, worlds. This one in particular right now, the human eye. Let's spawn right on top of some glass eye. Oh, ha, that's another pun, I guess, because there are glass eyes in real life. Take an instruction book before you leave. All right, do we have one already? All right, there's a bunch, but you know, we'll take, we'll take five. Fly around for the best experience. All right, so this is the enter. So we'll fly around here first, get a, a bird's eye view. Wow, so many puns here. <laughs> um, all right, let's actually enter now. This is the full, full view of it. So uh, I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but I am a biology major, so I do know a little bit about the eye because I did take anatomy. So I do, I should know some of the stuff that's going on in here. So hopefully I remember it. Enter the eyes, Viterus chamber. Yeah, I have no clue what that is. This is where vision is, gets made. All right, don't know what that is, so we're off to a bad start already. Um, let's fly around. I guess we'll start in the back here. The optic nerve. Ah, I know that one. I know that one. This nerve, which carries information to the brain, connects to connects to the retina here. This spot does not pick up light, creating a small blind spot in your vision. I actually knew that, actually. Wow. All right. You know what? I'm going to know a lot of stuff here, hopefully. Um, right here, the macula. This is a small, extra-sensitive area of your retina that gives you the focused spot at the center of your vision the light from the lens focused on this spot oh that's interesting fovea the spot of clearest vision at macula center all right that's cool the retina gives you peripheral vision the macula gives you central vision and the fova fovea gives you a sharp point of focus at the very center of your vision if you wonder why your vision is the clearest in the middle then becomes more blurry as it moves away from the center the macula is the reason oh i didn't know that that's pretty cool um yeah i didn't know that let's um do we read it this way yeah we read it this way all right should we yeah let's start this way this line shows the light entering the eye focused by the cornea restricted by the iris passing through the pupil into the lens where it is focused into this room which is where it is turned into sensory data. The walls of this room are called the ret retina. It creates peripheral vision. The spot at the end of this, of this line is called the macula, which is where your clear vision comes from. In reality, this whole room would be full of liquid vitreous humor. All right. Oh, did I not read that? Oh, I did read that. All right, so this is light. Um, I guess because the glowstone is there and they said it that makes it that makes the light the glowstone so should we read this next lens this allows and focuses light into the eye it flexes and changes shape to change focus I actually knew that one too all right so I know like half the stuff in here some of it's a little <laughs> above my pay grade I guess suspensory ligament zonules these attach the lens to the mu muscles that manipulate it. Bending the lens allows it to change focus. Clillery body muscles that manipulate the lens. Oh, I knew that one too. I had to memorize the muscles. All right. Anything else in this room here? Oh, down here. There's a, a pit of water. Vitreous humor. The entire eye is filled with this clear liquid. It maintains the shape of the eye and transmits light. If your vision is cloudy, it may be because the liquid is cloudy. Oh, 
That's very interesting. Oh, I did not know that. So if your vision is blurry, it's because this liquid, no, cloudy. If It's because the liquid in your eye is cloudy. So this whole room would be filled with a liquid. Oh, that is very interesting. Anything up here? Um, no, no. I think we are done with the inside of the eye. Um, I actually learned a lot, not a lot, but I did learn a decent amount from uh, this, even though I knew some of it coming into this, which made it a little bit easier for me to understand. Um, can we turn off this rain? No, we cannot. So we have to deal with the rain. All right, let's go out here and read this. Optic nerve. This nerve carries the information gathered in the eye to the brain where it is processed. Into an image, this channel also carries blood to and from the eye. All right. Okay, okay. So I guess this is uh, blood and that's the uh, data coming into the brain. Anything on this side? Anything over here? There's something in the front here. Let's read this. Light that enters the eye is inverted by the lens. Check the inside of the eye to see what happens to it. Okay, so maybe we're supposed to read this outside first, but it doesn't really matter. Cornea. The layer of the glass represents the cornea. It focuses the light coming into the eye. It is filled with liquid to maintain its shape. Oh, so there is liquid inside there. Oh, can I not read that? Oh, it, oh, that's so weird. Okay. Anterior. I'm trying to read it. Sorry, it's far away. I can't really move. Let me try to get as close as possible. Anterior chamber. This whole space is filled with liquid, unlike in this example. Okay, yeah. That's just telling you it's filled with liquid. What does this say? Enter the anterior chamber here. Oh, okay, okay. So that's easier. It's going to make it easier to read now. All right, we still have to read that. Iris. The iris is a muscle that can contract to let more or less light through the lens. All right. Um, oh, so this is the iris. Okay, so this is... Is this the iris? I believe so. So, yeah, that is the muscle that lets more or less light in. I actually did know that one, too. So we're probably around 55, 60% of I knew, and then, like, 45% that I didn't know uh, about the information here. But I hope you guys are learning. Um, some informational, I guess it's an educational video. I'll p put that as a category. What does this say? Um, aqueous humor, this is a liquid that fills the entire chamber. It is filled with the liquid to maintain the shape of the eye. All right, that's the same thing that they said over there. All right, I think that is the end. This one's a quick one, even no edits too. So um, we went right through it all. I like that big sign, the enter, it's so cool. Um, yeah, so I guess it's the end of the video. I, oh, maybe there's something on the bottom? Probably not, though. Yeah, there's nothing here. So, yeah, that's the end of the human eye. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys actually learned something today in this educational video. Not like me to bring an educational video out here, but uh, the more you know, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Not episode, this video. Um the human eye free map go and download it yourselves if you guys want to check it out um, I recommend it because you should get the experience for yourself uh, as always please leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video peace